Hi and welcome to my back porch. I'm really excited to show you this video today. Um, I'm using four 12 by 12 canvases and I'm going to do two at a time. So I'm simply spreading black paint all over to give the um, pour something to kind of slide around on. And you can see in the background the colors I have there are cobalt blue, navy blue, a tan, a dark forest green, copper, and then also black and white. So I've realized that I'm getting very good results with the traveling tree ring pour. And so I've been doing quite a bit of those recently. And um, what I really like about this is the way that these four canvases are done two and two so the first two are kind of connected in a way but by the time you tip them they don't look like they're connected you could do all four of them and get four different looks um, that don't appear to be having been set next to each other when you were pouring so that's kind of cool but what I really like about it is overall there's a lot of places for your eyes to rest so it has a nice overall effect and also, the color variations that come out in this are really fantastic. So you can see I layered the paint in. You couldn't see me layering it, but you can see as it comes out, it's your basic layering of a tree ring pour where you um, pour it onto the edge of the side of the cup to kind of keep the colors from mixing much. And then just go around um, and a lot of people do a swirl or a wiggle. I'm not very good at that part and that's one thing I really like about the traveling tree ring is I don't consider myself to be very good at it but I get really great results. So one of the more interesting things about these four at the end and especially in the close-up pictures you'll see is the variations in color that come through on this. So the white next to the I think it's, I don't know whether it's the cobalt blue or the navy blue that's giving it, but it has variations of, you know, different shades of light, light, a lot lighter blue, almost like a baby blue. And then also the green next to the white has a beautiful color. And then the green next to the tan has like this um, olive green, kind of pale olive green color. It's really, really amazing the number, the sh number of shades of color that came from you know these simple um two blues a green a tan and a copper black and white not a lot of different colors considering the number that come in the final piece so here's the second set and i've spared you from having to look at me spreading black paint on the canvases again and here they are layered up this looks a lot like the first pour coming out of the cup i did kind of mimic you know do a similar thing and I used a lot of the copper I've had a problem in the past with the metallics uh, sinking and not showing up and I probably didn't even really need to use the excessive amount of copper that I did because there's a lot of it on the painting but it turned out nice and here I kind of overdid it in the first half of that pour and got the majority of the paint on the right hand side so I'm mixing up a little bit more also there appears to be zero copper on the left hand side so I remember remember when I filled that cup up for this second small pour that I made sure that there was some copper in there and then when I was tipping it I made sure not to tip all of that copper off uh, one of the things with tipping that I've also come up with learned about uh, with this traveling tree ring is that um, if you don't mind some of the base color showing which I don't you don't have to be so worried about getting it into the corners or along every edge. Um, also, when you are trying to cover a specific part, with the tree ring pour, if you force the paint down into, you know, say like a corner, and that made the other side of your painting, uh, you know, one of those rings, the traveling rings, you it made it get too thick, well, you can just tip it back toward that thickness and kind of let that part run off the edge and uh, it kind of evens it out in, in it. Once you get into the corner you were trying to get into, now that paint will be stretched from that corner going toward, see this one right here on the left, 
that green it has gotten a little out of hand there but I really am trying to get this into the corner so at one point here I'll stop and look at it and I just I need to get more paint into that corner so I just keep pushing it you know tilting it and getting it down there and then once I get it down there the green has overrun so just flip it around and let it all go back the other direction it'll stretch the part that you just got into the corner and it'll and then you're letting this uh, lower part here just run off until it's a better proportion for the rest of the, of the uh, piece so coming up next will be the close-ups of the um, the four pieces close-ups and then there will be the still photos of the piece when it dried so here are the close-ups of it still um, wet you can see that I got a, a huge amount of copper going on in there and the cobalt blue almost looks purple um, even when it dries it has a purplish kind of look to it that really stands out and there's the green and the white the way they kind of went to a lighter green and there's that cobalt looking rather purple some nice feathery edges there and here come the still photos the colors are fabulous the cells are fabulous I'm really in love with the with this piece if you like the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more leave me a comment and share this with someone if you think they might enjoy it thank you